Well, now to vote 2020. We are weeks away from the start of the midterm voting election season, and one of South Florida's races for Congress is getting national attention. In Miami-Dade's District 27, Democrat Annette Tadeo is running to unseat Republican Maria Salazar. And Local 10's Glenna Milberg has the exclusive surprise endorsement that is crossing party lines. An unexpected and unusual endorsement across party lines from a high-profile Republican for Democrat Tadeo. This district is pretty purple, and the polling right now shows it's very close. This Miami-Dade race for Congress, too close to call. Because my parents lost their country to socialism. My family came to this country seeking freedom. Incumbent Republican Maria Salazar versus Democrat State Senator Annette Tadeo this week became the most expensive to broadcast. I brought more than $17 million to the district. For incumbent Republican Maria Salazar, an infusion of money from national Republicans, and for Democrat Annette Tadeo, a bombshell endorsement. It's the first time in four decades where I'm actually endorsing a Democrat. Al Cardenas, former chair of the Florida Republican Party, shared concerns about his own party's direction, is backing Tadeo. She puts her country and her state above herself, and to me that's now a precondition. Biggest differences are really standing up and putting country first before party. She would have to then defend the undefendable which is the Biden administration record. Salazar has crossed party lines to protect non-traditional marriages for an age limit on rifle sales. She voted against investing a trillion dollars on infrastructure and jobs. We need somebody that's going to bring back the resources to invest, for example, in, in our infrastructure. And in this markup, there's nothing on Cuba. Salazar makes anti-socialism a key part of her platform. Tadeo, a Latina who runs a 30-year business, flips that script. You can't just talk about democracy 90 miles away. Be totally quiet when a plane full of Venezuelans fleeing communism is taken to another state. One Miami-Dade district, but nationally watched because this plays into the balance of power in Congress. I'm Glenna Milberg in Miami, Local 10 News.